Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this new tutorial, we are going to create a door lock system using the Arduino board, the keypad matrix, the LCD display, and a relay so that we can control a solenoid door lock. So before we get started, as usual, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell, and let's jump right into it. So in today's project, you will need an Arduino board, the keypad matrix. So this is a 4x4 keypad, but you could use the other one that has three columns and four rows because they share the same principle. Of course, you will need an LCD display so that we can show the user whether the password is wrong or not and display the keys that he enters. And to open and close the door lock, you will need this relay and that's because the Arduino board can't power this solenoid basically we can power it with 12 volts and if you want to learn how to use these components I've created separate videos about each of these like the keypad matrix the LCD display that comes with the I2C module how to use the relay and so on anyways you could go to the link under the video description and download the project. It is called Password Door Lock. Here we have the circuit, as well as the sketch, which is the Inu file. First, let's see how to connect all of these elements. And let's start off with the keypad. Basically, it consists of few wires. Four of these represent the rows of the keypad matrix, and the other four are the columns. We are going to connect them in order. The first row goes to the digital pin number 9, the second to the digital pin number 8, until we reach the last column, which goes to the digital pin number 2. And in case you have three columns, you don't need to connect this wire, so you will use the digital pins from number 9 to number 3. Next we have the LCD display that comes with the I2C module which allows you to control it using four pins. The first one is the GND, goes to the GND of the Arduino. The VCC goes to the 5 volt pin. Then we have SDA, which needs to be connected to the analog pin A4. And the SCL goes to the analog pin A5. And finally we have the relay, which is an electrically operated switch that we could turn on and off by sending a voltage from the Arduino board here we have three pins. The VCC goes to the VCC, the GND to the GND of the Arduino. Then we can control the relay using the signal pin. I am going to use the digital pin number 11 so that we can activate the relay using the digital write command. If we give it the high keyword, it will activate the solenoid by connecting these two wires. We are going to connect one wire of the solenoid directly to the 9 volts battery or 12 volts and we can control the other connection between these two leads using this relay so this is called the normally open which is an open circuit by default and once we activate the relay using digital right high it will close the circuit and turns the solenoid on so that we can open the door anyways let's implement this circuit and let's start by connecting the keypad matrix I'm going to use the digital pins number 9 8 until number 2. Next I will take this breadboard. In fact we need to create a ground rail and a 5 volts rail. Because the Arduino board comes with one 5 volt pin and we need to power the LCD display as well as the relay. That's why let's take another wire and connect the 5 volt pin of the Arduino to one of the points on this red line. Now we could use these as 5 volts. The same thing for the ground. I'm gonna connect the GND pin like this one to the other rail because we have all of these points connected to each other. Then let's take this relay. I will only use this one that is controlled using the input one. 
as you can see we have the VCC goes to the 5 volt the GND to the GND of the Arduino and the input one goes to digital pin number 11 let's start by connecting the GND to the GND the VCC goes to the 5 volt pin and finally the input one Go to digital pin number 11. Then let's connect the LCD display that comes with the I2C module. I have the GND, which is the brown wire, goes to the GND of the Arduino. The VCC is the red wire, goes to the 5 volt pin. Then I have the SDA, which is the orange wire, which needs to be connected to the analog pin A4. And the SEL goes to the analog pin A5. I've talked about this LCD display in depth in one of my previous videos, make sure to check them out. For now I will not add the solenoid, because you could test this project. We could look at this LED. If it turns on, that means the relay is activated. And the same thing, if it turns off, the relay is deactivated. So let's connect the USB cable to our computer. Then let's open up the sketch of this project using the Arduino IDE. First you have to install these two libraries. These are not built in. We have the liquid crystal underscore I2C to control the LCD and the keypad to use the keypad matrix. You could go to tools, then manage libraries. Then you have to write the name of the first library liquid crystal underscore I2C. And if we go down below, we have the same name, Liquid Crystal I2C, by Marco Schwartz. For me, it's already installed. Make sure to hit the Install button. Then search for Keypad. For me, it's already installed as well. Once you do that, we can close this window. Then we've created a few variables, like the password length. You could change this to whatever you want. For now, we have seven characters. Then we have the data to store the password that we write. After that, we have the password that we are going to check for. You could change it from here, or you could add another system to be able to change the password of the door lock. For now, it is AD123 star and zero. If you want to change it, make sure to change it from here. After that, we have the pin that is connected to the relay, which is number 11. You could also change it if you want to use one of the other digital pins. Then we have another variable to store the custom key that we enter, but you don't need to worry about that. Next, we have two constant variables, which represents the number of rows and the number of columns. For me, I have four rows and four columns. If you have the keypad matrix that comes with three columns, make sure to change this to three. And finally, you need to change the characters. These are the characters that we have on the keypad matrix. And finally, we have the pins that we have used for our keypad matrix. The rows are connected to the digital pins number 9, 8, 7, and 6. The columns are connected to the digital pins number 5, 4, 3, and 2. But if you have 3 columns, you could get rid of this one. After that, we have the logic to open and close the door and check for the password. But you don't need to care about that. Let's try to upload it. First, make sure to check for the board using tools. Then board. And select the Arduino Uno because we have an Arduino Uno. And the port of the USB cable. For me, it's this one. And let's hit upload. And yeah, we have enter password. And if I enter the wrong one, like three, As you can see, we have incorrect, and we can enter the password again, which is AD123, then star and zero. As you can see, we have correct, and the LED turns off, then it turns on. But I have one problem. This relay is working a little bit different. When we set this pin to high, it turns off, and if we set it to low, it turns on, that's why we have this LED that turns on 
and once we enter the right password, 123, star and 0, it turns off. In this case, we have to change the code a bit. Under the loop function, where we check if we have the right password or not, we need to change this to low, so that we can turn on this relay, and we set this to high to turn it off. Also, we need to make sure that it turns off once we upload the code. So I'm gonna copy this line of code and paste it under the start function to make sure that the door is locked by default. So make sure to do the same thing if you have the relay that works oppositely. Then let's upload the code again. And you see that the LED turns off. And once we enter the right password, it turns on. Now let's give this project a try. As you can see, we have enter password. First, I'm going to enter a wrong one. And we have incorrect. So let's enter the right one, which is AD. One, two, three. Star, then the zero key. And there you go, we have the door that opens automatically for 5 seconds. Then it closes automatically as well. So I think that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any question or comment, make sure to put it under the comment section down below. And consider subscribing to our channel, that helps me a lot. And I will see you in the next one.